just want to show you this little bralette that um, Jaden made for me um, for our project trade. Look at that. Look. Just, just look. Look at all the details. Guys, isn't this the most prettiest yarn you have ever seen? She also sent me like some ogre tea. She's so, 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 so sweet. And then this little sticker that looks like my cat. <laughs> but just look at the bullet. Just look. <sighs> Sorry. It's early in the morning. <laughs> I have allergies. But just, just look at the bullet, guys. Look at all the details. And the eye cords. The eye cords. <laughs> I'm going to be launching in this all day, every day. <laughs> But um, maybe when I go support her on Instagram, I will leave her link down below. She does um, bikinis and custom orders. And yeah, it's just really pretty. I love. Thank you so much, Jaden. I'm in love with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. centimeters to go I'm just following like the length uh, in the pattern for my size but yeah I've been enjoying this um, and I have not been doing anything else monogamous knitting who is she who is she but just been working on this um, and I don't know it's just like a really nice feeling to be using up the yarn in my stash so I have been thinking a lot about what I want to do with the yarn that I have. I really want to use up my acrylic yarn. The acrylic yarn that's not for the Taylor Swift surprise songs blanket. Um, I do have a lot of them because I bought like a lot. So I want to keep using up the yarn in my stash. So I've been thinking I want to make a pillowcase for my couch. And I also want to make like a rug to put under my shoe rack, but that's gonna be a uh, cotton yarn. But anyway, I just wanna use the yarn in my stash because it's such a nice feeling. And I wanna start incorporating more crochet pieces in my house. Anyway, so that is the reason I started. I have this one pound Karen cake. No, one pound Karen Karen one pound acrylic yarn. I bought one in orange because I wanted to make pumpkins last year, but I it was like already like was already like kind of like Christmas time, so I didn't make any pumpkins last year. So I am going to be using it for. I made one last night, but I don't know. Do we like this, guys? Do we like this color? I don't know. I'm trying to make like a fall flower bouquet kind of thing for my living room as well but i'm not sure maybe i'll make like 
a few of this and then some yellow i don't know yet i don't know yet but yeah i really want to use up my orange yarn anyway that's the only update i only have this much like this much progress on my cardigan the button band for my cardigan because i have mainly been working on this that's the only update i have for right now and i'll see you when i have more keep you guys updated it yet but it's um really boxy but i'm hoping it's gonna be like bigger after i block it it's really warm already <laughs> i'm already sweating um i still haven't even the ends but this is the boyfriend sleepover by typical bliss i use for the body i use six millimeter needles but i went down to five for the collar and armholes because i tried using 5.5 but it was kind of like too big it didn't look very neat so i redid it with um five millimeter but for the bottom part i went with 5.5 because i didn't want the body to like curve in too much i have a few like pro tension problems that I hope blocking will fix it so it's like one line one roll right here that I did I tried to do continental purling and then it like messed up my tension really badly it looks very obvious in real life but I don't know if you can see it on camera but I'm hoping that blocking will switch it out and also I think I picked up too many stitches along here. I don't think blocking is gonna fix it, but I don't know if you can see it kind of bunches up on the side. So I hope it will like smooth out or like stretch out a little bit with blocking. But overall, I really like this. But yeah, boyfriend sleepover by Typical Bliss. I'm excited to like try her other patterns. I know she's like running two, three more, but yeah, I want, definitely want to make more of her stuff. This is all the leftover that I have. Um, I originally had six uh, skeins of drops flora, and this is how much I have left um, of the flora. about like one one and a third skein left and then i have like this and then three more of the kid silk but yeah i think i'm gonna make like a beanie with the leftover i think it's gonna be really cute in the same matching color i also um frock a project and wound up some yarn um and then i put them in this basket because i want to i have like this old yarn that I have had in my stash for a long time I want to make um, the sunflower granny squares um, pillowcase for the living room um, I think I made it that was like this one right here <laughs> that one right there um, that was my first 
thing I have ever like crocheted in my life. But yeah, I want like I still have the yarn from that project that I want to use up. It's gonna be kind of like a side project. I'm not in a rush to like finish it or anything. I just want to use up my yarn. Yeah. As for my cardigan, I have <laughs> I haven't touched this in a few days. I can't even find where I stopped. Um, this is my button band. Um, yeah. I did, I still have one more side to go. I think the reason I'm putting this off is because I'm scared to do the holes. No, I think I'm just scared to do it. But honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I just need to like force myself to sit down and finish this. But yeah, um, that's what I have. It's just looking a little wonky because I don't know if you guys have any like tips on how to mend the edge neater, please let me know because she's a messy girl. But yeah, that's the update. I want to finish this in my crochet cardigan before I start anything else. But right now, I think I'm just gonna go weave in the ends of my slip over and then block it. And then I'll decide what I want to do next. Yeah. I'll see you later. guys my top my sleeve over is done blocking i am absolutely in love i really like the fit it's like the perfect amount of boxiness i really like how it's like a little bit of like a drop shoulder and then it's just like a straight boxy fit really like this design um this yarn is a little scratchy it's um, drops flora and kisil mohair um, I'm not sure which one is making me itchy I think it might be the mohair but like when I touch it it's really soft and it's really light and fluffy um, but I love this color I'm wearing like a bigger t-shirt underneath so it looks a little bit like fitted but I am so excited to wear this cannot wait for it to be colder it's still like really hot here we had like a week of cooler weather and then after that it went back to 80 90 degrees again but hopefully hopefully we will get some fall weather very soon so i can wear this and be cute and happy but yeah this is the boyfriend slip over this morning I made a few squares, I mean not squares, I'm j I just made like three of the sunflower <laughs> Not square, um, I made these, I'm gonna use green, I'm gonna use the green for the outside edge to make it a square But um, I made three, this is gonna be for uh, the pillowcase for my living room but you know just something nice mindless this is like a side project that use no brain power at all but yeah I did that and 
had a little bit, a little bit of progress on the button band of my cardigan. I'm at the top part now, the neck part. Um, I'm gonna continue working on this for the rest of the day and I don't think I'm gonna do the buttonholes today because I have to like sit down and learn how to do it so I will just try to like knit as much as knit as much as I can until I get to the part that I have to do the holes then I will get back to it later that's all I'm up to today I love um, she's super warm as well very nice flowy fluffy little thing but yeah that's all I have for now Please focus. Please. <laughs> I made a hole. Um, it's actually not that hard. I just had to like do them separately. I had to like do this side and then do this side and then rejoin it. And so to make sure it fits. Um, it's not that hard just had to do them separately and then rejoin it and yeah I have two more one more here and then one more here and then I'll be finished hi guys I finished the cardigan I am I finished the button band and this is the wonkiest thing I have ever made um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen. I post a picture of the button band. This is how wonky it looks. Um, okay, so this is... Okay, starting off... Fine. It was fine, right? I mean, it didn't really look that bad in the beginning. I mean... I mean, here was bad. I should have stopped then, right? And then... When we got up to here, it looked fine. And then... Back here is like, what is going on? I don't know if you can see this light, but like... What is going on here? And then... I didn't know what to do. I spray, I spray blocked it a little bit on this part because it just looked so bad. But it still looks bad after. I think it's because this is cotton and acrylic blend, so blocking doesn't really change anything that much. So, and then I did a swatch, which I should wish I should have done before I started this. did a little swatch on smaller needles um, and it looks so much neater oh, here we go um, can you see how much neater it looks it like the last stitch still looks a little messy um, if you guys have any tips on what to do because like the double knitting like the last stitch on the wrong side, you just slip it, right? And then you knit it on this side. So it looks really like messy. Let me know if that's how it's supposed to look or not. Or am I doing something wrong? I think the problem was I just had to use uh, smaller needles because I knitted the body in five and then I only went down to four millimeter on the band, but like this, I used three. I think 3.25. Yeah, this is three. 
millimeter. Overall, I really like the fit of this cardigan. Um, I really like like the neckline. I like how the band looks on the neck, and then it just fits really nicely. I really like the overall fit. Um, cardigan number eight. One of my favorite things to wear. I don't think I'm gonna redo the band because it's just too much work. You know, um, I just did a swatch because I want to know what I did wrong and now I know. Now I know. I should do a gauge swatch before I start. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna weave in the ends and then wash this. I don't think blocking is gonna change anything much with cotton and, uh, and acrylic but um yeah i'm still gonna wash it anyway because it's kind of dirty but yeah that's my finished rainbow cardigan and then one thing one more thing that i realized is that i always i always put the holes on the left and then the buttons on the right i did this with the other cardigan that i made too but they're in pattern and everywhere else, like everyone else, always put the holes on the right side and then the buttons on the left. I don't know, it just that just makes no sense to me. I don't know why I need the buttons to be on the right and then the holes to be on the left. And I'm not even like left-handed. I don't know why that makes more sense to me. But anyway. I got so traumatized by this cardigan, by the button band of this cardigan. To the point that I am making a swatch, like a full-on swatch, um, with the ribbing and then the body and then the band. Hey, uh, excuse me. Sorry, my cat's here. I'm making a swatch for my champion cardigan um, because the champion cardigan also has a double knitted band and I am making a swatch for that right now because I am deeply deeply traumatized by this see how much neater that looks I don't know if you can see that <laughs> see how much neater this looks already I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna finally cast on my champagne cardigan but yeah that's all I have Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and then I will see you very soon.